so today obviously is an update day and I am so proud of myself because I avoided all spoilers. Like even when I logged on when you know the newspaper shows like front and center right there, I only saw the text before I X'd out of the entire screen because I was like, wait a second, I need to record this. Like yeah, I X'd out of the entire screen. So the next time I logged in, it was just the daily spin. And so literally I have avoided all possible spoilers and I, I am so excited like I am so excited okay so let's just dig into this news so obviously it has been two weeks since the last update which is when they announced cougars were coming so I'm pretty sure I have a good idea as to what the front page of the news is gonna look like <gasps> we've seen signs of them for weeks and now the wait is over Cougars have come to Jamal! Yeah, boy! I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I love big cats, and I'm so, yes, just yes. I'm so happy. Okay, anyway, hurry and become one of these amazing big cats today. Heck yeah. Okay, I am excited. I am excited. Like, on a scale of one to excited, I am excited, okay? Like, ugh. oh my gosh. Okay, so they're probably on this list somewhere. Just gotta find out where. Oh my gosh, like, I'm like shaking right now. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop fangirling. Uh, okay, you know what? Ferocious. I feel like that's a good name. Ferocious Cotton. No, Courageous. No. Um, Ferocious Exquisite Animal. It's a Ferocious Exquisite Animal guy. Uh, what is that? That, this... This isn't what I was expecting. It kind of looks like one of those Lego versions of animals. Like, you know how when Lego tries to make, like, an animal as opposed to, like, a little guy? They, like, make them really weird and blocky and just- I feel like that's what this is. And the little picture down here is kind of creeping me out. So let's try to see if we can get them to be normal looking because right now their legs have, like, no dimensions. It's just kind of like a tube. This is not what I was expecting. I was so excited, and I don't know if I'm excited anymore. I mean, that's kind of cute. That's adorable. But they, they kind of, I don't know. I don't know about this animal, actually. Like, I want to like it, but then again, I'm not sure if I can. It just, it doesn't look right. What if I do that, and then for a back item, what should I do? Maybe like a worn blanket or something? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the stereotypical outfit right now, which would be that. And then you go to the little feet items, and okay, where's the socks? I want some socks that match. Apparently, I have no socks, so we're just gonna stick with those, and, um, I don't know, like a tail item? Nah, I don't want a tail item. Actually, the tie, now that I'm thinking about it, looks really bad, so I'm just gonna leave the tie off, and maybe go with a different worn blanket, because I'm not feeling that either. Or actually, you know what? That looks really adorable, and now we're gonna look for a clover necklace. Is there, like, a clover necklace type deal? Because if there is, oh yeah, a clover tie, we'll make it blue, or actually white. Yeah, white. I like that. Um, okay, so in like the actual thing right here, it looks pretty nice, but when I exo, it just, something about it doesn't look right to me. Like, I don't, I was so excited, but this just doesn't, I don't, I mean, I've always been excited for the new animal, but this just, it doesn't look right to me. And now I feel kind of sad, because I was so hyped up about these, but they just, they look strange. Let's see them sit. Okay, their sit is pretty normal. I feel like, I feel like that's a really normal thing. Like, that's good. That's good. How about when they dance? Okay, there's, oh, that's adorable, actually. That's really cute. Oh, I can't even lie. That's adorable. Like, wow. Okay, so that's pretty adorable. What about their sleep? Oh my god, oh my god, that's, oh, that's so cute. I actually, oh my god, that's actually so, I'm like having heart palpitations. That's adorable. That's the cougar I was here for. This cougar is scary and I don't like it. This, this cougar looks like a baby kitten and I want to rescue it and it's so cute. Okay, what about the hop? Hop and play. Hop and, no, I'm not, I'm sorry. The hop looks pretty average. Now let's see the play. Oh, it's chasing a pink nickel, maybe? A pink dime or some type of currency a gem a pink gem I think it's supposed to be an insect but I don't know how an insect could be pink so I don't really know what it's chasing actually but that's actually really adorable like hold on just wait for it just wait for it just wait for it. right here when it does that oh that's so cute okay some things about the cougar are adorable I will admit that but some things are, are just really creepy like this this little picture down here that scares me that that's not okay i do not like that plus the tail i don't know it kind of just looks like a wet noodle flying in the wind i mean i like this animal but i'm not sure if it's like one of my all-time favorites or anything i mean seriously look at that wet noodle tail 
It like it's not curved. It's just it ends. It just it ends just right there. I mean, the more I look at them, the more I kind of like them, but like still, I don't know. You know what I'd prefer? I'd prefer some African wild dogs because I've been waiting for those for the longest time. Now, let's see some patterns. Okay. Um, ooh, those are cool. Nah, nah. I mean, I wasn't expecting to like either of these because usually they're the ugly patterns. Ooh, that's pretty cute. Whoa, whoa. It actually looks like it's dripping blue from its brain. That's pretty cool. Again, with the blue dripping from his brain, which is pretty exciting. Oh, those look cool! I like those ones. And the hearts, obviously, and the moon, and the stars, and that's it. I kind of- I think my favorite one is this one. Whoa! Whoa! Glitch discovered! Oh my gosh, look, that's not the color I chose! Oh my god, call the police! There we go. I just had to move, and it fixed itself. But still, oh, that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Anyway, there is more to this update than just the cougars. I'm kind of, like, upset that they look the way that they do, because they- they- I don't know, they look kind of creepy, but- I mean, you know, we have other stuff in this update to look forward to, so you know what? Let's just continue. Adopt an adorable pet gecko today and take them to the Serapia Theater to hear everyone's favorite song. We know the song they're talking about, guys. Let's go hear their favorite song. And while I go to this theater to play their favorite song, I'm gonna tell you a little story. The story goes like this. I go to an agricultural school, which basically means I have animals at my school. It's great. It's a fun time. I was in herpetology and avian class, and if you don't speak animal, that basically means reptiles and birds. I always get one of the leopard geckos named Brady out. He's like my favorite animal. And today he just felt like going up on my shoulder and hiding in my hair. So let me just insert that clip right here. Yeah, I don't know how I felt about that, but it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's fine. And now, let's listen to the gecko song, everyone's favorite song. Wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's listen to the gecko song, everyone's favorite song. Gecko, 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 Okay, yeah, the more I stare at the cougars, the more they're kind of growing on me. Like, yeah, sure, their tail kind of does look like a wet noodle mixed with a rectangle, and, I mean, they may not be the, like, cutest looking animals in the profile picture down here, but they're still pretty cool. I kind of like them. I feel like it's just one of those animals that you have to wait a while, and then it, like, it sets in, and it's like, oh, okay, I appreciate this. Anyway, back to the news! Yeah, boy! Ooh, the spring cottage. Wait, is that, like, a new thing? I don't think that- I. I feel like this is a new thing. I have never seen like this before, maybe. I don't know. Pick up the spring cottage and invite all your buddies over to celebrate springtime in Jama. Okay, honestly, I feel like this is new because I feel like I haven't seen this before. Oh, the springtime cottage. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. I just forgot the icon. I literally just forgot that the icon looked like this, so I thought it was a new den. It's not. We got this last year, so that's, that's sad. But I'm still happy because we listened to the gecko song, and that always puts me in a good mood. They actually put this in the last edition of the news, so I'm not gonna go ahead and read it again because that's boring. Den music! You asked for it and you got it! Now members can have even more den music in their inventories! That's a quality thing, thank you! Because I am always running out of space for my copies of Lucky Go- Happy- Happy Go- I can't speak Happy Go Lucky. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say, but it was, so let's just move on and never talk about that again. Jammers have already unlocked over- Four million treasure chests in this fun adventure. What cool prizes have you found? I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I guess I probably should play it and join those like other four million people who have already opened chests and stuff. Oh my god, it's doing a little head thing. Oh my god, it's so cute. Like in the pictures, it's so adorable, but like in game, it's kind of creepy. Like I'm still not sure how I feel about these. Read the new mini book in the Chamber of Knowledge to learn all about the Jama's newest animals. I read that completely wrong. Um. Oh well. Okay, coming soon. Have you heard the great news? Cheetahs will soon be speeding back from their travels. That's exciting, but where are its teeth? It has no teeth. Is it just like a grandfather who has like lost all his teeth? Or was he just like born without teeth? Because if so, that's kind of dangerous. I think he should get checked out by a doctor. Where are your teeth, buddy? Where are they? I will find them for you, I promise. And of course the snow leopard bundle is here, so go ahead and get that bundle and stuff. Okay, so I got my buddy Cookie Division to stand here for me because I really wanted a side-by-side -side comparison of the Lynx versus the Cougar. Because a lot of people were saying that the Lynx was just a smaller version of the Cougar, or a Cougar was just going to be a bigger version of the Lynx, and I kind of wanted to compare them 
side to side. So I had my buddy turn all white just like I am, have the same eyes as I do, and we're gonna compare them right here, right now. So one of the biggest similarities that I'm noticing are the legs. The front legs are really big on the cougar and a bit smaller in the back, and same thing with the lynx. However, almost every other thing is different. As you'll notice, we have the same exact eyes, and my eyes are kind of a bit more squished in, while theirs are kind of more circular and round. The lynx tail is kind of like a little bob, like a little bunny tail, while the cougar's tail is kind of like a cat tail, like it's all grown out and stuff. The ears, as you'll notice on the lynx, have a bit of a tuft at the end, and they're also all white when they're all white. The ears on the cougar, however, are bat-like, and when I am all white, they're still pink. In terms of the face, their face shape is kind of similar, but the placement of the eyes and the nose and the little mouth are completely different. Now for those comparing the snow leopard to the cougar, here is them side by side. As you'll notice, they don't look anything alike. Once again, the biggest similarity I could find is the front legs being bigger than the back legs. But besides that, there's not much they have in common. Just look at their tails. The snow leopard's tail is big and it's moving around a whole bunch. It has a lot of fluff at the end. Meanwhile, the cougar's is just kind of bent and just it's there. The eyes on the cougar are much more squished in than on the snow leopard, and the face shape is obviously much different. Just in general, their entire body is just completely different. Actually, the thing I think they have most in common is the ears and the nose being pink, and that's literally it. Okay, and now the final big cats I have to compare to the cougar are the lion and the cheetah. Now, I have noticed something while comparing all of these big cats. It seems like, excluding the cheetah, Animal Jam style is bigger front legs and smaller back legs. So I guess that because of this style, a lot of the big cats tend to look alike just because of the body structure. But if you look at them each individually, they look nothing alike. So obviously the lion looks nothing like the cougar. In terms of face shape, uh, way off. There is also a giant mane around the lion's neck, which also doesn't look anything like the cougar. The one thing that I'd say they have in common is the tail. However, the lion's tail kind of swishes around more, but they do kind of have the same little curve. Now, for the cougar and the cheetah, they look nothing alike, just like the cougar and the snow leopard did. Or didn't, I should say. The cheetah's face shape is kind of like a squished version of the cougar's face shape. The cheetah tail kind of looks like someone ironed out the cougar tail and now it's just flapping in the wind. As for their legs, I've noticed that the cheetah is the only big cat with, like, similar legs. For most of the big cats in Animal Jam, their front legs are larger than their back legs, but for the cheetah, it's pretty proportional. If we're saying that a big cat in Animal Jam looks like another big cat in Animal Jam, I would argue it's not actually the lynx and cougar, but the cheetah and the snow leopard. Because they share similar body structure as well as the tail flapping in the wind. Here are these two big cats side to side, and now I'm going to play a clip of before when I was comparing the lynx and cougar. Now that I've shown you the cougar and lynx side by side versus the cheetah and the snow leopard side by side, I'm pretty sure you can tell if any of the big cats look similar, it's these two. But even then they don't exactly look like each other. I mean the tails are kind of different, yeah they're both flapping in the wind, but they're different, definitely. The head shape is different, the eye shape is different, snow leopards have the pink ears and nose while the cheetahs do not, so yeah, you can clearly see that these animals still don't look alike. Also, one little thing to note is that the cheetahs have tear lines because in the wild they have tear lines and so that's just another unique thing about them. I rest my case. The rumors have been stopped. The lynxes and the cougars don't look anything alike, okay? Continue on with your day. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.